So you have a lot of iconic voices that you do. Oh, thank I wanted you. you. It wasn't a compliment. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, you have a lot of iconic voices that you do. So I wanted to see if we could put a spin on those those voices. If I gave you a prompt for the voices to see what it sounds like in a different context. This has never been attempted before. This it has is never been this attempted. This is unprecedented. Attempted. What if Ted Cruz was Australian? That's not a knife. This is a knife. The liberty and freedom crocodile teeth. What if Bernie Sanders had a cold? Look, I would sound exactly the same as I do when I do not have a cold. It's very true. Because the symptoms are identical. That's why I need health care. What if uh, Bernie Sanders uh, was on helium? <laughs> mm. The top 1% of the top 10% of the top 1% has too much money. I feel like that one's going to hurt your throat. Yeah. <laughs> What if Paul Giamatti was an auctioneer? Well, folks, uh, we haven't had any bids, so um, I guess if anybody wants to give me a dollar, they can slap me in the fucking face. <laughs> I love it. Uh, what if Huell Hauser was British? Wow, so you're telling me that this island is in Europe, but also separate from Europe? <laughs> this is an amazing part of Britannica's goal. <laughs> and what if uh, George Bush was going through a breakup? Uh, look, Laura, I just don't, I don't know if I can settle down. It's not, Laura, look, it's not, it's not you. It's, it's you. <laughs> the perfect breakup line. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you too.